next 30 days, I'm going to be training my calves every single day and we're gonna grow them at least, well, maybe like this much if we're lucky. I have been insecure about my calves since I was a wee little lad. And now it's time to transform these bad boys into something people are scared of. People are already terrified of them because they're so small. It's that bad. We're going to measure my calves very quickly. Now listen, do not judge me, okay? This is day one of 30. They say your calves are supposed to be the same size of your arms. So we'll measure my arms real quick. We are at 16, okay? 16 and like an eighth. Theoretically speaking, my calves should be the exact same size. Oh my, no, no, are you kidding me? They they are 15 and a quarter. They're an entire inch. There's nothing to be ashamed for, boys, okay? We're gonna train my calves three different ways. We're going to do body weight, heavy weight, light weight. The three different muscles that we have in the calf are going to be the anterior something, which is in the front right here, the gastrocnemius, and then we have the soleus, which is underneath, which is honestly what people say that are gonna add the most size. And to start, we're gonna train in the gym today. I'm extremely, extremely vulnerable right now. I would say the worst part about this challenge is that for the next 30 days, I basically have to wear shorts and reveal my small calves to everyone. Day one, we're doing three sets of 20 reps on the leg press. I'm gonna be extremely sore, and that's why we're gonna keep the amount of sets and volume lower for the beginning of this challenge, and then we're gonna expand it. Hopefully we can be doing like 10 sets by the end of it on day 30 and not be that sore. I'm gonna be starting every single workout with calves because I'm not gonna wanna do them at the end. That way I'm not either tired or not gonna give as much energy as I possibly could. Therefore, doing it first guarantees that you're gonna get the best results. Okay. Are they big yet? Are they big yet? I have a calf erection. There's nothing like having some calf confidence. Ain't nobody stopping me now. Mm, yeah. Anyways, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Do you think that in 30 days I can improve these calves? Yeah, of course. Just do trend. Yeah. Okay, trend. Put Miller Lite and then dad calves. Dad calves. Yeah, every dad has big calves. Hey, all right, today we're gonna be doing a seated calf press. So this is gonna work the soleus of your calves. We gotta do three sets of 20 reps on this machine. Why are your calves so small? You have to hit him in hand when he's down, don't you? Are you turning light here? What's going on? Push on it. Give me some resistance. Tell me I have small calves. You have small calves. The biggest thing that you guys need to focus on when you're training your calves is doing a full range of motion. If you're not training a full range of motion, you're not gonna get the full benefit out of everything. Squeeze at the top, go all the way down, let it stretch to the bottom, and squeeze. This is too heavy. Make sure you drop your ego, boys. This kid over here was making fun of my calves. Guess what, he's training calves right now. Oh my God, that fucking burns. Have you ever heard of TCS? No, what's that? Tiny calf syndrome. I have it bad. I can tell. Yeah. yeah, thank you. A little calf flex for the boys. Day two, feeling pretty good. Calves feel a little bit pumped after that workout. Feels really good, feels really nice. We're definitely seeing a huge difference in absolutely nothing, because it's day two, guys. Day three, it's time to measure and train the fun of our calves. My calves right now are extremely, extremely sore. It actually hurt a lot to go for a walk today. It's only been three days, so I'm not sure if this is gonna even show anything, but a little over 15. All right, well, I need to make sure that I'm gonna train the anterior tibialis. Yeah, I passed biology. It's anatomy. You're gonna take something stable to stand on. That way your heel is higher than your toe and you're going to gently hold on to something and you're going to reverse calf raise it. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Okay, this sounds really weird and it feels really, really weird. It's really hard. Oh my gosh, I can barely do like 10. Feels decent. We're gonna do three sets of that today. But I think that this is gonna be the reason that my calves actually grow a little bit. Cause I've never done this so it's completely new stimulus for my muscles. Why is it so easy? You have strong calves. Only four days in and we're having some complications because my calves are so sore and the combination of calves every day and then cardio every day because I'm on a diet right now, it's gonna add up. So I'm hoping that we don't have any issues, we don't get any shin splints, but I'll keep you guys updated. The entirety of this challenge, I'm gonna be following a program on the Dubs Club. This is my exclusive workout site and all members get access to this calf program for free. You guys can get daily workouts, exclusive content that I don't upload to YouTube alongside with a private Discord and so much more. So make sure you guys go sign up and this will get you one step closer to the body of your dreams alongside making games and getting entertained. So, without further ado, let's continue this challenge. We are officially one week into my calf transformation. We are gonna take this tape measure and we're gonna measure my calves and see if we've made any progress whatsoever. This is a different tape measure. I'm a human, I lost the other one, okay? Okay, we're still exactly 15 inches. Maybe 1 16th of an inch extra. Not exactly where I wanna be right now, but that does not mean we don't have three weeks left. We are gonna continue the challenge on and we're gonna grow an inch, I promise you that. And if I don't, maybe some Cialis will do the trick and pump me up. I'm kidding, don't do that. As you guys know, I am on on a diet as well. But I'm also doing cardio every day and I'm training almost every day because 
I'm trying to get shredded. So there is a high possibility that my calves actually shrink. But if you guys are wondering what stack I'm using to one, shred fat, and two, also help me get better pumps. I do a scoop of glycerol, a scoop of mode, and a scoop of nitric. Then I also am taking alpha yohembine to help shred fat quicker, and a PM stimulant-free fat burner, along with my normal trichestrone dosages. Obviously, code Jesse on everything will save you money, but I'm just showing you guys full transparency of what I'm taking. If I already fat my calves, it will be gone, and my calves may get smaller. We'll have to see it at the end of 30 days. But I just wanted to be clear on what my goal was while doing this tire challenge. I'm feeling like an angsty teenager right now i'm about to rage i've got a lot of testosterone in the tank and my calves are still small i've decided i'm going extremely hard today on my calves i don't care if they're sore for the next uh, year i've also discovered the best way to motivate yourself is to talk down to yourself i'm small i'll never be loved i can't read definitely taking that too far oh my god okay i've noticed that this challenge is taking about 10 to 15 minutes every single workout I do feel like I'm in the gym for a while, but hopefully it pays off. We are on day nine of calves every single day. And the one thing I've noticed that consistently has been giving me a problem is squatting. It feels a little bit uncomfortable when warming up. As you see, I'm kind of stumbling, falling over. I think doing calves so much is making me really, really tight, which is then translating to kind of an improper squat because I'm not getting as deep with my ankles, not being as mobile. So we're working on that right now. I'm basically just gonna sit in this position for a little while, stretch it out, and then try to hit some good squats. But obviously with prioritizing a muscle, doing it first, you're gonna kind of hinder something else. So it's kind of one of those things that you need to pick and choose your battles, basically. Squats are feeling a lot better after the warm up. Stretch out my calves a ton. Now we're gonna hit this top set. Show you that even if you're doing calves before, it does not affect everything, as long as you do a proper warm. -up. days in officially I will say that I do feel that my pumps my contractions and overall I could feel like my calves are fuller as if like there's more blood there and also just like every time I'm working it out I'm actually getting a really good pump and a better pump than the day before so I'm no longer at that sore point where I'm getting sore every day but now it's just like a progression to really overload these with more of a pump and more weight and more reps over time so I'm ready for week two to kick in because that's when things get serious so stay tuned we are officially 12 days into this challenge. They're feeling a bit small. I'm gonna do 25 on each step and work my way up and then do reverse calf raises on the way down. Then tonight I am going to do an additional workout. We ain't skipping workouts. I'd be lying to you if I said this wasn't the biggest pump I've had. Get you a little zoom in. Oh, okay. My calf has never been this pumped in my entire life. This is insane. I will say this challenge is extremely boring, so if you're gonna try it, get ready just to feel really bored with it because it's not that fun. We are on day 13. The next exercise is laying on the bed right now. Get your head out of the gutter. We're gonna be doing donkey calf raises. You guys have seen Arnold Schwarzenegger do this in the past. You can do this with your homies or your girlfriend if you're lucky. Oh yeah, okay? Oh my gosh. Yee donkey, giddy up. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be doing a bunch of reps. I'm gonna do a few sets. I don't have any weights and I wanted to do something to progress a little bit better than just my body weight. So we're gonna do four sets of this. It's actually extremely hard, not in a mean way, I mean. So far, I've noticed that my feet are starting to hurt a little bit more than they should. I've also been getting 10,000 steps every day. It's definitely getting harder and harder. That's what she said. So far, babe, have you seen any difference in my calves at all? I don't know, I don't look at your calves. Do girls look at calves? They're really skinny, I'm down, I'm gonna look at them. Even though we're on vacation, training doesn't stop. Let's go. Calves every day until they're large. Ow, my neck. Day 15, still in Aruba. We're still getting it in. We're doing body weight today as we didn't weight it yesterday. I'm gonna do a ton of reps, hitting the back and the front of the calves per usual, okay? And 
even when you have no motivation, even when you are on vacation, you gotta make sure you're sticking to it, stick to the plan, put in the work, put in the hours, and take what's ours, as The Rock would say, okay? For real, you cannot give up. I could easily be on vacation right now and just say it's four days, but I'm still putting in the work, I'm still getting it done. I'm walking around with a little bit of a limp because they're so sore, but it's okay. Claudia won't be so embarrassed to date me once these calves are monstrous, all right? Get to work and let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is officially day 18 of this challenge, okay? We're gonna measure my calves. I'm really hoping that we see some sort of growth. Yo, there is a calf gain so far, I swear to God. 15 and a quarter, 15 and a quarter, baby. That is some big news. We're going for 16ers by the end of this. Guess whose calves grew a quarter inch? It's because you ate a lot. We did eat a lot on vacation, that could be why. Look at that booty. Go away. We're gonna be simulating a donkey calf raise as I showed you with Claudia on my back on vacation. So this is huge. If you guys can sit up a little bit on your leg press and when you come down, I like to reach forward, putting a lot of stretch on my calves and press up. It's putting the weight directly to your hips, which is gonna help you simulate the donkey calf raise. So if you don't have a girl to put on your back, either a homie or the leg press will do. As time has gone on, I've realized that this has been my absolute favorite calf machine slash exercise for this entire thing. That little stretch helps a ton. You also can tap your calves to kind of activate them a little bit more. Helps a ton as well. It should burn a ton in the best way possible. Otherwise, go to the doctor. If you really don't have that good of a mind-muscle connection to your calves, give this exercise a try and I promise you, you will feel something. We are on day 20, officially two thirds, 66% of the way through. I do feel stronger, I do feel bigger, but there's one major issue in that. I feel like I'm getting injured, I really do. My knees are hurting during cardio more than ever. My calves are extremely tight, so we're gonna work on some mobility right now. You should not feel pain if you're doing any sort of challenge or workout. You should feel muscular breakdown, but you should not feel any sort of pain or aches to a certain degree, and I do, so. It's time to fix that. Also, I look like I have a Karen bob. That's not okay, I need a haircut. This is the first time I've officially rolled out my calves through this entire challenge. I probably should have been doing this from the start. Ah, God. That does not feel good. But it also feels really good at the same time. It's like a forbidden love, you know what I mean? Oh, oh God, that's the spot. Another thing I'm gonna do is just stretch the hell out of them. That is absurdly tight. That is definitely what he said. I don't think I could ever take anything serious, but for real, the most underestimated stretch of the world is gonna be the front of your calves. People are way too tight and they have no idea. The one thing I will say is that I did not do well on this challenge this far is keep up with my mobility. So definitely make sure you're stretching if you're gonna try out this challenge. After stretching them a ton, we're now gonna move into the training. of calves every day. What do you think of my calves? Rate them. Uh, 9.4. 9 point, you're being way too generous. You, you think I have good calves? You do, I don't. I don't 20, 22 days ago, I did not. How are we doing? I give them a nice seven and a half. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take we'll it. Take <laughs> We're gonna be doing a little bit of a calf workout at Coachella. Nothing's stopping me. Even if I'm jamming a Harry Styles at Coachella, I'm still getting my reps in, okay? I'm gonna feel the burn no matter what. I'm definitely a little awkward and uncomfortable here doing calf raises. I'm getting some smiles and some looks. I'm at least gonna be confident in like 10 minutes. So I can't do much, obviously. I'm stuck at Coachella. So I'm gonna be doing some single calf raises. We're just gonna get a pump today. Do my calves, no big deal, right? What is that? Oh my god, yo! <laughs> no, that was actually so good. The man's got a train, all right? Look at this pump. Now I'm walking around. Before I was all like timid. Now I'm like Coachella, baby. All right, all right, I see. Oh yeah, it's all in the calves, baby. Oh, you got some good calves. How are mine? What do you rate mine? You know what? A good A. A good A. Hey, eights have great personalities. Everyone's so nice here. They're all hyping me up. Whatever they're smoking, they think I have big calves. Day 23 of calves every single day. We're still in California right now. Still getting in before we go to Coachella later. You see, when I first started doing this exercise, I was probably doing about 25 on each side. We now have upgraded to the Ferrari, AKA 245. We're gonna try my best, see how many I can do, and see if I've gotten stronger. Actually, a lot easier than I thought, and we're gonna upgrade to even a 25 as well. All the walking, cardio, and calves, my calves have gained so much strength. If they gain size, that's amazing, but at least we know that we're getting stronger. If you notice, I'm kind of doing a one-two on the up. It's what Jay Cutler always says you're supposed to do when you do calves. Do one, and then two for that extra contraction at the top. 
You'll feel it like none other. Make sure you guys are doing that. 24 days deep into this challenge. We're almost finished. We have about a week left. We're gonna finish strong. We're gonna train them today. Let me show you a little trick when you don't have any equipment. I'm not going to the gym today. It is day three of Coachella, so we're gonna hit a bodyweight workout. I've been feeling that I get the most sore from bodyweight workouts. Not that being sore has to do with growing muscle, but it's kind of a good indicator that you're pushing yourself past your limits than you did previously. We're just gonna rep this out for as many sets as I can until I can't move my calves anymore. And then we're gonna do the reverse calves to hit the front of them. When I first started doing these, I couldn't do more than five. And now I like to say that I can at least do 10 to 15 pretty easy. If you're an athlete, make sure you're doing these to prevent your shin splints from happening. And it's a dangerous game on the field. And we're dangerously growing our calves. The pain I mentioned a few days ago is definitely subsiding, I think. Walking so much just kind of like loosen my legs up or something. I don't know. Or it's because I haven't done legs in a week. One of those things. Even at Planet Fitness, we're getting it in. Yo, these calves are definitely setting off the uncle arm soon. Day 30. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. I'm so excited. I'm super excited to see if results actually happen. As you guys see on the screen right now, there's a comparison of day one on the left and day 30 on the right. Here's me unflex, flexing my one calf, flexing the other calf, and then the final comparison of both calves being flexed. I think that I made progress. I can see a difference. But now it's time we use statistics to see if they actually grew. Give me some good news. Final results are in. If measured correctly, we're looking at 15 and a little bit over a quarter, 15 and a half. It worked! Worth it, okay. Quarter of an inch gained, that's about it. But I think that there is a little bit of progress made. Comment below if you think there was any progress made and don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Comment below what other muscles I should train next for 30 days straight. I love you guys. Don't forget to stay relentless. Peace. Now lay down. Let's get to business. Leave that in.